this is Deborah Roberts. She's a contemporary artist based in Austin, Texas. The show is nine of her largest ever and largest she will ever make collage and mixed media works, which is a combination of acrylic, pastel, and painting and collage with elements of photography that is sourced and also patterns that she creates herself and adds to the canvas. What she says is that for each work that she makes, she wants it to be about 80% collage and 20% painting. And that is true for no works in this show. The percentage of painting is much higher for most of them, for all of them. But she said that as she worked on one of them, it became the largest piece she ever made. And there was so much more painting being drawn out of her that worked with the whole composition. And then she started the next one, and then that ended up being big as well. And she was like, well, I guess this isn't a one-off. And then it kept going and going until she had a full series of these enormous scale works with the most painting she has done in ever. Her painting style typically is that she makes the works flat so that it matches with the collage elements. But for these, as she was painting, it was multi-dimensions getting drawn out of her that she would then have to take a step back from and say, wait, this isn't working, this isn't my normal style, I need to tone this down and actually go in and try to flatten some of those painted elements. Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow is Deborah's largest piece she's ever made. It's a diptych where one half of the canvas is black, one half of the canvas is white, and it's almost the inverse of each other, but not completely. And it's based off of the story of Ralph Jarl, who was a boy who went to go pick up his sibling from his friend's house and went to the wrong house and got shot not for doing anything, just for ringing a doorbell. And he was a musician and he survived, but he will never be the same. His entire life experience, his entire trajectory has changed. So this piece is about looking at the past of what happened and who he could have been and looking forward to all of the tomorrows that he will experience as a different person. So. The first piece that you see when you walk in is called Girl, Woman, Forever, A Work in Progress. And there are blue painted tape, painted to look like tape on it. Because when Deborah starts off with every piece, she starts off with a face, with a full face. And it's a child's face. And from there, she starts cutting out elements and adding in grown-up faces, grown-up painting, grown-up textures of skin to make it look more wrinkled, but each aspect is held together by blue tape in her studio. This piece is to show what it looks like behind the curtain almost.